Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Mindstormers mini robot set. This isn't something you can buy, rather it's a gift with purchase. So, in New Zealand, if you spend $200 or more on any LEGO product, you'd get this for free. If it's on LEGO Shop at home. And I believe in the States, it's um, $200 and over to get this for free on any LEGO product. And, um... Yeah, fun fact, this was actually my first time getting something on Lego Shop at home. I'm getting the big monkey kid, um, Team Secret HQ for Christmas, and yeah, they put this in for free, so I'm reviewing it. So I can have this early than the actual thing I am getting, but yeah, anyway, let's have a look at them. So I don't remember all of their names, so I'm just going to have to make fake names for them, so let's just call this guy Greg, and... Greg has quite a bit of posability, so um, you can move his legs up like like that, and you can also get him into a walking pose. It might be a little bit fiddly, but yeah, there we go. Um, and he's got lots of nice detailing, and fun fact, half of this guy's Technic. Um, he's got a spring-loaded shooter, which I don't really want to fire off. And you can see how poseable this guy is. Like, he doesn't even have any ball joints whatsoever. And he's super poseable. He has the color sensor here and a head that can spin 360 degrees. And, oh no. Please don't tell me I can put a minifigure head on there. I can just imagine how curse that would be. Oh, that'd be great. Um, but he has some really nice um, detailing on the back. And, yeah, this guy looks really great, because usually I don't really like Technic stuff, because they always have the holes exposed, but it's only really on the sides with um, Technic holes, so I like how this guy came out. I remember this guy's name, this is Charlie, and he's a really cute looking one. Um, like, the thing I don't like about him though is that his eyes are a bit inconsistent, because like, he has a stud here, and just a um, tile here, but you can move his arms... Um, and looks pretty good. And you can wheel him around. He always looks a bit like Wally, if I'm being honest. And, um, yeah, you can even open and close his mouth, which, that looks really cool. Um, here's how he looks from the back. Pretty simple. And, yeah, his head's on a ball joint, and you can open up. Um, and he does have a heart inside of there, which... I don't know if that's exclusive. I mean, with my Pirates of the Caribbean Isla de Marta set, I thought that the skeleton in it was exclusive, but um, the torso came in an Injago set, so who knows, that probably comes in like a friend set or something. This is another one I don't remember the name of, so let's just call this guy Albert, and, oh, this, Charlie's still there, but yeah, and he's pretty cool. He's got an antenna here, and the thing I like about this guy is that you could just use this in, like, a LEGO City as, like, a Mars rover or something. Like, it, you, it isn't Pacific to Mindstormers. And you can bend it in the middle, and... Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Um, although, I think I like him a bit better like this. Um, you can move this up and down, and if you bend it a bit, you can swivel it around. And you can take this off and replace it with a crane or an arm. With a bucket on the end for some reason. I don't know why he has a bucket. But hey, guess it works. And yeah, he looks pretty good. This is another one I don't remember the name of, but he's like a robot dog. Um what's a good name for him? Um K9, yeah. Let's just call him K9 from Doctor Who. Um but he does have four legs that are uh, that are poseable, and you can get some interesting poses, although this is probably my least favourite, because I don't really like robot dogs, I prefer the real ones. Um, but he does have um, the bucket handle pieces here, and he's pretty good, I just, um, he's just not really that interesting to me. And this one, Tricky, another one I remember, this is probably the most robot-y thing ever, like, we expected robots to be like this, but no, it's just, um, these little drawing things, um, but he does have a ball he can play with, I, I believe there's a piece from Hero Factory, and well, you can have him play with the ball, and, yeah, the forklift arms here, you can bring them up, but they don't have any friction, so they'll just 
fall down like that. Um, and yeah, he, he can roll them around, and yeah, he's a he's pretty nice. Um, he's, he's a nice build. Um, and I don't really have anything else to say on this other than it's a pretty good freebie. Like, for a free set, this is really good. Like, the, the things you're getting here, like, if you took this set apart and then took something like a $35 set apart, they probably have, like, the same piece count, probably. Like, this is really good for a freebie. Um, like, you get lots of things included. Like, you get five different builds. Um, six if you count the extra thing for, um, the Rover thing, but... Yeah, um, and, oh, frick, I didn't even notice that it was like that. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.